Hi, my name is Gary Lamack. I'm a professor of urology at UT Southwestern in Dallas. I completed training at Cornell New York Hospital in 1997. My two co-chief residents were John Way and Rob Uzo, two of my closest friends in urology to this day. Uh, I spent 10 years in New York. I did four years um, in the medical school there and then uh, six years uh, in the urology program. So um, obviously a huge part of my life. Um, when I think of Cornell, uh, the first thing I think about uh, is Dr. Vaughn and the influence he had on my life uh, as a medical student uh, picking a career in urology. Uh, and then in residency, um, obviously learning quite a bit from him, but also uh, helping me form my uh, career trajectory after that and, and, and pursuing a career in academic urology. Um, so I remember that. Uh, very well. Um, several other faculty members, of course, very influential as well. Um, Neil Bander, Ernie Sosa, uh, Mark Goldstein, um, and of course, a very young Peter Schlegel, um, who at the time, even then, uh, took a very um, unique interest in the education of urology residents. I remember uh, very well um, him always sticking around for uh, teaching conferences, journal clubs, and so forth, and um, that was really important. Um, in addition to the faculty the, on the uh, on the Cornell side, there was the uh, faculty on the private side who were really important at that time as well. Uh, so whether it was Dr. Mukey or Tom or John McGovern or Dr. McCarran or Dr. Pitts or so many others, um, at that time. That was actually a really important part of our training and it offered a different perspective, which was kind of neat. Um, I remember uh, vividly, um, actually the uh, summer going out to Shelter Island to Dr. Vaughn's house for his welcoming party, which was really neat. And Dr. Muki had a party and how their wives really welcomed us into urology, made us all feel right at home, even if we weren't at home, and especially our spouses or family members who, that we brought with us. That really was was really a very welcoming experience. Um, I remember the other residents very well. I remember the gold and silver services rounding uh, very early and then having morning rounds down in the cafeteria um, every morning where we divided up cases. Uh, my chief resident, Dix Pappas, and Mike Chen, uh, so my junior residents, uh, Lee Ming Su, Doug Schur, obviously good friends to this day and very important uh, figures in urology. So um, the camaraderie at Cornell was really, in my opinion, second to none. Um, it uh, is probably what I remember the most, learning from other residents and having that experience. But Cornell is a unique place uh, with an outstanding surgical experience and tremendous mentorship um, that uh, really was second to none, in my opinion.